Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials as well as give a lot of baking business tips. And today we're going to be talking all about American buttercream. You probably thought that I abandoned this series, but really what happened was Vlogmas happened and then a bunch of other things happened and now here we are back at it. Now admittedly, I feel like American buttercream has kind of a bad reputation, mainly because it is very, very sweet. But I'm going to give you some tips in this video to tone down that sweetness a little bit. And like all of the videos in this series, it's going to follow the same format so you can easily find what you're looking for about each buttercream. So first, let's begin by talking about the usability of American buttercream. Why might someone like me choose this buttercream when I have a whole assortment of buttercreams to choose from? Well, the first thing is convenience. This is a very, very easy buttercream to create because it really only has three ingredients and two of them are ones you have to purchase and one of them I just have readily available. So it's really just butter or some other fat like shortening or margarine, and it can be made vegan very, very easily. And the other ingredient is going to be some sort of liquid, so you can use any type of milk. Some people like to use heavy whipping cream, or you can also use water, which I do frequently use. I really find it doesn't alter the taste that much. This is also a really great beginner buttercream. If you are just starting out decorating cakes, American buttercream is one of the easiest to handle, and it also can stand up to various weather conditions. I personally don't like to use it for things like macarons or other pastries or even cakes with a lighter sponge when I'm trying to be a bit fancier with it. Now let's talk about the taste of American buttercream and so often I hear the same complaint of American buttercream is too sweet or it's too buttery. Now personally I wouldn't choose American buttercream as the topping on my cake. However, there are ways to kind of temper that butter flavor or having it be too sweet. Now honestly, the more butter that you add, the better this is going to perform. I find when there's too much water content or milk content or too much icing sugar, it does not perform as well. So a higher butter content is better. And in order to kind of balance out that flavor, I like to add things like Earl Grey tea leaves or coffee. Cocoa powder is really great to really bring down that sweetness, especially if you want a nice deep chocolatey flavor. But I appreciate the fact that many of us are cake decorators and we need different colors. So when possible, I do like to add things like freeze dried fruit to the mix if I was doing something like pink, for example. But sometimes you just have to leave it white. And as long as you've got some different fillings in there, I think you'll be good to go and the flavors should balance out. When you're eating a frosting completely by itself, I feel like that's an unfair evaluation of how it actually tastes with a dessert. Now here is the easiest method ever for any buttercream, and you are not going to mess this up unless you don't whip it enough. Honestly, not whipping it enough is the only way to mess up this buttercream. Now, I don't have a particular recipe for my American buttercream. I kind of just eyeball it, and I've made it so many times now that I generally know the measurements that I personally like to use, but play around with it. So first, what I'm starting off with is two cups of butter, and you'll notice that I whip it a little bit. It is very, very cold right now, so even though I've left out that butter in room temperature, it still feels slightly cold. Cold, so it is chunking up on me a little bit. Now the one downside of American buttercream is that I find it just always kind of makes a mess in the mixer, but you need to do it in a mixer because doing it by hand will take way too long. So if you have one of those shields, use the shield. And I also put my vanilla in at this point as well. It really does not matter when you put that vanilla in, just put it in whenever. Now that obviously is not enough icing sugar. I just put a little amount in first. And then notice here, I'm whip, whip, whipping. And of course, I'm gonna add some liquid in as well. Now, I don't want this to be too liquidy. When I first started working at a bakery, we used to pour in a lot of liquid and then we'd pour in a lot of icing sugar and we'd build up the buttercream. But I've actually kind of learned over the years, as I previously mentioned in the video, that having a higher butter content actually works better for me and I prefer the taste as it's less sweet. This also colors very, very well. 
I know that some people have a little bit of difficulty coloring things that have like a Swiss meringue in it or an Italian meringue. This will color up so, so beautifully. And you'll notice too that before I added in the color, it was quite white, but you can add a little bit of purple if you need. But overall, you're looking for a really, really nice, smooth consistency. Now, this particular frosting, I actually was piping out, so I wasn't too concerned about air bubbles. But if you do want to get rid of air bubbles in your frosting, you actually have to mix it on low with that paddle attachment. And I would mix it for about 10 minutes or so on that low speed to get rid of those air bubbles. So now just some final tips for your American buttercream. So if you do decide to use this on a cake, then I highly, highly suggest that you invest in a torch of some sort. In case there are air bubbles on the side, you can use that torch to heat up your bench scraper or a metal spatula and run it all the way across and it will help get rid of those air bubbles and hopefully you get it fairly smooth. This one was fairly smooth here. I see a few imperfections every now and again, but fairly smooth. Now here you'll notice that it pipes very, very well. One thing I did notice was because, again, it was very, very cold, I should have re-whipped my American buttercream. One thing I mentioned earlier is that it's not very susceptible to melting in the heat or anything. It will hold its shape, especially because it does form a crust once it is in the refrigerator and even after it's taken out, that crust is still there. However, I personally find if the buttercream sits for too long, and this can happen while you're decorating more intricate cakes or if you're decorating a lot of cakes, it does require a re-whip every now and again. And a specific tip regarding sprinkles, do not pipe your cupcakes or whatever dessert you are making too far in advance before you put the sprinkles on. So right after you pipe, put those sprinkles on because if it is quite cool in the place that you're making your desserts, it can harden, like I said, forms a crust and then your sprinkles will never stick. Now I used to have this misconception that American buttercream could not pipe beautiful roses or succulents like this. But the reason that was happening to me was because I did not have a high enough butter content. Also, you don't want to over whip when you're making things like these flowers. If you over whip your buttercream, then what ends up happening is it gets too soft and then it's way too soft to do anything. So you gotta hit that sweet spot. Now, I will say for things like Italian meringue buttercream or Swiss meringue buttercream, it basically is if you follow the recipe and you make it, your flowers are going to have a perfectly stiff peak and everything is going to come together really easily. For American buttercream, I will say it takes some time to find that sweet spot of how much butter you're actually going to need for your flowers. And this does actually depend on the baker. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but because your hands heat up that piping bag, it can cause things to melt faster or slower depending on how quickly you work and the temperature of your hand. And the final misconception I used to have about American buttercream was that it never got smooth enough and it kind of has a grainy texture. There is a way to combat that if you're really, really big on the texture thing. You can heat up your water that you're going to put inside of your buttercream and mix it with your icing sugar first so that everything kind of dissolves into a slurry of a sorts. And then you mix in your butter and there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!